Hello and welcome back to my channel folks. I hate to be the bearer of bad news but Starbucks loses 11 billion US dollars amid boycotts. You guys, you guys are VIP. You managed to do this and someone out there said that uh, boycotts don't work. This was published yesterday. 5 December 2023 at 11.41 Eastern Time AM by the way. Let me just uh, go ahead and read a little bit of uh, this article for you guys. Starbucks Corporation's recent week have been fraught with turmoil as a combination of boycotts, staff strikes and the lukewarm holidays promotions led to a 10.98 billion US dollars decline in market value, stirring concerns among investors. Like this is crazy guys. You guys... The only thing I can say about this right now is that who is next? What company is next? Who else is going to be on the list? This definitely sent a very loud message to the people on the top. They need us. They need us normal people to make it on the top. I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on what other people thought about this video. Let's get into it. But let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. For those of you who say boycotting doesn't work, Starbucks in Morocco is literally leaving the country explicitly for the reasons of the lack of revenue they've had because of the pro-Palestine protest in all of Morocco. Like, they're literally leaving the entire country, not just like one store or something. And in San Francisco, they announced that they will be closing seven stores. Seven of them. Don't tell me boycotting doesn't work, because that was literally all of us, guys. Those protests that you guys are doing, the boycotts you're doing, they're working. And remember, money talks. Keep advocating for Palestine, keep protesting, and definitely keep boycotting. Make it clear to them that we are not at all okay with our tax money going towards supporting genocide. Free Palestine. Don't ever let anyone tell you a boycott does not work again. Starbucks has lost $12 billion. They've had the longest consecutive drop in stock value since they went public in the 90s, okay? They've lost 9% of the company value, which is $12 billion, you guys. Boycotts can work, period, the end. And I am saying this as someone who literally ate the fucking kale and mushroom egg bites at least five times a week. I was, dare I say, addicted to them. I cut it cold turkey, cold fucking turkey. And you know what? I don't even, I do kind of miss them, but I found other things. You know what I've been having instead? Fucking dolma. I'm addicted to these little suckers now. Oh my, it's, it's way too much flavor packed into there. It makes no sense. Oh, y'all know I wasn't going to forget to update y'all on the boycotts, right? Okay. Over the past 12 days, Starbucks stocks have experienced a daily drop of approximately 1.9%. Now, um, so far, it's 1.9% and counting. So far, we know for a fact, 9.8% has... Their stocks are below 9.8%, Okay. Um, which leads to right around a $12 billion loss in revenue. Now, they haven't seen this low or this, uh, this level of loss since like the early 2000s. So what you guys saw on your timeline, I'm sure you've seen it. Starbucks has been dropping in worth and value, um, they just have not been doing too good in the hood. And the great news about that is that Starbucks is not the only one. It looks like McDonald's is also on a decline. This is not the first McDonald's that is being closed down. Yes, this location is on its way to be shut down. I know we have seen the boycotts and we've seen them decrease. And I know we've been thinking that, oh, like it hasn't been doing enough damage and that we need to figure something else out because they're picking up speed. One of the things that we never considered is they may be picking up speed because they're losing the war. Um, and I think it happened. It crossed our minds that way because it came from a ceasefire that they extended multiple times. So they're not only psychologically damaging the people there, they're psychologically damaging all the people that are watching. Okay. As a result of our boycotts, not only are these companies losing money, Disney is also losing money as well. I'm still waiting to hear back on the schematics about that. I'm sure somebody will be 
sending me messages over in between. Um, Disney is losing money in their stock. But demonstrators outside of Joe Biden's hotel in Boston have been, they, they said there's no rest for the wicked. Okay. I've seen so many protests going on internationally and nationally still, even though we've been losing a little bit of steam. There's still people taking shifts, like pumping iron. I need y'all to keep y'all hope. Okay. Because together we made this happen. One of the biggest losses for the company since the early 2000s. Together, we made this happen. Proceeded to go into Target and to other Starbucks locations, shaming people in public. Shame. Shame. Ain't no goddamn Frappuccino worth seeing a baby's head being blown off. Are you kidding me? We collectively ensured that McDonald's you're going to suffer. You're going to suffer. You're going to pay us back in blood. I need you to understand that. You're going to cry. You're going to pay us in blood. In your case, money. Because that's that's that seems to be an even exchange for y'all. Okay, so if you thought that the boycotts and everything wasn't working, baby, it is. And this seems to be the foundation and the ground level work. But we still got to pick up steam. We still have to find a way, which I suggested that we all do. Someone else suggested a sit in, but I suggested that we sit home. Stop working. Boycotts work. The genocide coffee giant has had its stock decline for 11 consecutive days because sales have slowed down. And this is the longest running consecutive day decline for Starbucks since it IPO'd in 1992. Just the last 11 days, Starbucks lost 9.4% of its value, totaling to almost $12 billion lost. While these days are supposed to be their busiest time of the year, this just goes to show you that we have the collective ability to make Wall Street's pockets bleed if we come together and boycott. For those of you that said boycotting doesn't work, Starbucks just lost $12 billion because of us in our boycotting. In an article stating that amid this dip in sales, its stock has suffered a record run of losses resulting in a 10% market value decline of nearly $12 billion, which was reported Monday, December 4th. Keep in mind, this is also their like most busiest time of the year because it's around the holidays. Then goes and states, in particular, the chain's Red Cup Day, during which it gave out reusable red cups to usher in the holiday season, saw a weaker turnout than usual as staff walkouts affected over 200 stores. As you can look in the stocks of Starbucks, you can see that they have been declining in the past month. Just in the last 11 days, Starbucks has dropped over 9.4% in their stocks, leading to a $12 billion loss. Like I said again, this was supposed to be the busiest time of the year, and I'm just letting you guys know that we have the power to make Wall Street cry. So keep boycotting, keep advocating, and keep protesting, and let them know that we're not okay with our funds going towards funding a genocide. Here's the update on the Starbucks boycott from today. Their stock is now down a total of 10.8% since its peak on November 16th. That means 13.26 billion dollars have been lost from their company's value. News reports are starting to include the word boycott in their reporting, which they weren't doing before. Starbucks has lost value for 12 consecutive days. And today they lost another 2%. Allegedly, Starbucks across Morocco are closing down due to low demand at the end of this year. The media wants to avoid calling a boycott because that means that we have the power. And we do. And in addition to our boycotts, Starbucks workers are striking because of what they did to their union. Starbucks sued their workers union after their workers union came out in support of Palestine. Okay, so let's talk about this deeper. So Starbucks has lost almost 12 billion US dollars due to the mass number of people boycotting it. They've had the highest loss of uh, share value since they went public in the 90s. Ask me, this shows how many people are supporting Palestine. This will be remembered in history. Imagine losing multi-billions of dollars due to the amount of people boycotting. This is the power of people uniting. This is the power for, of people coming together. And yet there are still people out there saying that uh, boycotting does not work what are you going to say now this is also another reminder of uh, you know withholding money when you withhold money you take back control because this whole conflict going on uh, between uh, israel and palestine 
this is about money so you guys you guys hit them where it hurts the most while the ionic coffee chain struggles are multifaced including a less cheerful red cup day and global political tensions spilling into cafes the undercurrent of discontent signals a challenging uh, brew for the company's future that's according to industry analysts the stock market has weighed heavily on Starbucks as it grapples with complex societal issues, prompting investors to retreat and driving its shares into longest losing streak since its 1992 initial public offering. And shares of Starbucks have plummeted 8.96%, which equates to a nearly 11 billion US dollars loss. Amid analysis reports of slowing sales and subdued response to the holiday season's offerings boycotts at the seattle washington uh, based chain have deep roots touching on sensitive geopolitical issues after the company found itself in hot water after a tweet from starbucks workers united the union representing many of its barristers expressing solidarity with palestine the swift corporate response sparked a series of boycotts with calls to action resonating across social media platforms the company's legal actions against the union have intensified the debate leaving Starbucks to navigate its business operations amid political expressions. Strikes led by unionized workers highlighted an urge for improved staffing, scheduling, and bargaining over contract negotiations. And the workers demand better working conditions, especially on high traffic days that test the limit of staff capacity. But I wonder what high traffic days that will be days from now onwards or well, someone may say uh why boycott starbucks is that even going to have an impact what about the workers are they not going to lose their jobs well somebody said that starbucks is a global brand in many ways starbucks is the symbol of the west it's a symbol ambassador of the u.s and of a corporate imperialism that it's more of a symbolic target than a practical one but boycotting it can have a practical impact uh, for example, members of a Telegram group wrote hundreds if not thousands of letters to Starbucks over the last couple of weeks and they are continuing to do so and the responses from Starbucks over the course of 10 days or so have uh, started to change. The initial responses were for them to reiterate their position against the union workers. But the more recent responses have uh, emphasized, quote-unquote, listening to customer concerns. That alone, that alone indicates that an impact is being made aside from their shops looking so empty. And across the globe, Starbucks is being boycotted and you can see that their products are being sold, and I mean being sold on ridiculous discounts. I'm talking about 70%. This is Starbucks we're talking about. I mean, are we still talking about the same starbucks and people out there are still saying that boycotts don't work it won't have any impact what are you going to say now so like uh really starbucks has been affected by this in a very much negative way and uh, what i can emphasize or you know just say something on this is that uh boycotts actually do work so y'all keep doing what you've been doing because it's working you guys let me know what you think about this video in the comments section below and if you have not subscribed to this channel guys please go ahead subscribe turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my latest uploads i will definitely see you in my next video please stay peaceful